Now that we've gone through and derived expressions for the transconductance of the small signal amplifier, R pi, which was the, res the uh, resistance looking into the base, R sub E, the resistance looking into the emitter, and R0, the early effect of resistance seen looking into the collector, we're now ready to construct the small signal models. And you'll notice that these are very much like those models that we, determined, that we derived for the um, MOSFET transistors with a few significant differences. First of all, the hybrid pi model, where we've got the base, emitter, and collector. Looking into the base, we see the input resistance R sub pi and the voltage V sub pi was VBE that we have been working with. So our V sub pi and VBE in this case are the same thing. The current depend or the uh, dependent current source then is equal to or has a value equal to the transconductance G sub M times the input voltage V sub pi. And then we've got the uh, R zero, the early or the uh, output resistance due to the early effect coming in here when we use that. A couple of differences between this and the uh, small signal model for the MOSFETs. First of all, note that they're very much similar. In both instances we had a current source that was dependent upon an input voltage. Now the difference between this and the, and the uh, MOSFET is that in the MOSFET instead of the base we had the gate and the input resistance to the gate was effectively infinite. So we had no current going into the gate of the MOSFET. That's not the case, as we know, coming into the base. And R sub pi is equal to, still relatively large but not infinite, equal to beta divided by G sub M. The T model, once again, explicitly shows the resistance seen looking into the emitter. Once again, it has a current source that's dependent upon, with a transconductance multiplier, dependent upon the voltage from the base to the emitter, which again is called V sub pi here. And again, R0 is the resistance seen from the collector looking back in across to the emitter. Sometimes we'll take this R0 into account, sometimes we won't. It has to do with the, uh, again, with the early effect. And the other form of it is just alpha times I, where I is the current in the emitter. So the collector current would be alpha times that. And um, again, R sub E is explicitly shown in the hybrid pi model, or in the, I'm sorry, in the, in the uh, equivalent T model. So now with these models, we're prepared to take transistor circuits, bias them, calculate the bias voltages. From the bias voltages, determine the parameters associated with the small signal models, and then do the small signal analysis. I've listed here all the different relationships that we've derived up to this point, and this is worth creating down in your cheat sheet, um, showing the different ways of calculating the different small signal model parameters.